Hi, I'm Melvin York with Daddy Pete Plant Pleasure. We're here today in, in one of the school's uh, greenhouses in our local area, and we have with us today Mr. Bill Walker, which is the agriculture teacher uh, here at the high school. Uh, good morning, Bill. Good morning, Melvin. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us to come up. Well, uh, thank you for uh, Daddy Pete's continuous support of our program here. Well, we do, and we, uh, we believe in that, and we thank you guys for... Uh, offering the program to our young uh, children and our young men and women now that's uh, coming along. Uh, I've always said that uh, that's one uh, program that needs to be uh, taught in our high schools and I know more and more now that we're getting in as you can see that it's working and it's coming out. Uh, it's better than having them on a video game looking at something that's not real and we're putting them into real life and doing something. So. We're real proud to be part of this. Well, we, we appreciate that. That's one of the reasons that the students take our classes is for the hands-on opportunities like, like we have here in the greenhouse. They, uh, they really put their knowledge into action. Yeah, and it's, uh, it, you can tell that uh, you've done your job and they're enjoying what they're doing just by looking around. We're going to show you some shots of that here in just a minute. But I know you guys start out with our Pete Light product. Yes, sir. And can you give us just a little bit of overview of how you start the plants and then what the process is? We, uh, we start seeding in late January, early February, depending on when the semester ends. So that's our big limiting factor here at the school. Right. And uh, we've been planting in Pete Light for five years now since I've been teaching here. And uh, we've always had great success with it. We plant... Uh, the seeds in in flats just like this. We don't use any, any germination mats or anything uh, to aid in that. Uh, we plant 100 seeds per flat, 10 rows of 10 seeds per row, and that's easy for the students to keep track of. And uh, as you can see from our, our peppers here, we've had pretty good success with it. These are these are a little past when we would normally transplant them, but but we're getting ready to do that in the next couple of days. I understand that the schedules don't always go with the schedules it, of the plant when the, they're in school. It, it, this year with the winter the way it was, was was really difficult to stay on top of things. But. That's, that, that's for sure. Well, now, this, these are some really healthy-looking plants. And, I mean, as we look down in, and what I like to see is the way that they go ahead and join it out with their third set of leaves coming on. And so that is a very healthy plant. <laughs> Very well rooted, <laughs> yes, too, sir. because I'm putting some pressure on that. So this is just one, but you do all your plants this way. Is that correct? Yes, sir. We uh, All our vegetable plants. Okay. And I, I do see that you do have some, some flowers here mm -hmm. that you've got going, and then we've got some. And tell us a little bit about uh, about your impatience here. And impatience is one that's a hard one to grow, really. It is, but it's a, it's a big seller for us. We, uh, we've always been very successful with those. And, uh, and the kids really like them. Um, now, y'all plant these from seed, or do you get plugs? We get plugs with these. These, okay. uh, these plants here we actually got probably uh, a week and a half ago or so. And, uh, and when we received them, they were, they were pretty yellow and, and needed, needed some help. And uh, we went through, and, and with the help of, of the Daddy Pete's Plant Pleaser, we, uh, we've got a good product now. Wow, only a week and a half, and you've got root growth like that going on? Yes, sir. I tell you, that's amazing. That's an excellent growing job. Please. I don't know if y'all can see that on the camera or not, but for a week and a half for a plug to put out white roots, and that's what we look for uh, as we're growing, is our roots to be long and white and hair-like, and I know maybe the camera can't see it, but these are putting off the little hair-like roots that we want to see, and that's what really feeds this plant. Uh, Color is beautiful on them. We have fertilized those plants twice since we've had them, and they're, they're really taking off. That, I'll tell you what, that... That is one more good looking tray of plugs. And for you guys, uh, if you don't understand what a plug is, they'll come in and the actual root ball will be about this size here, and there'll be just a little stem. Uh, sometimes they're not even green, they're just got a bud. Yep. So, and you can see what happened here in just, just a few days. Now, what I'd like to do, if we can, uh, Bill, if you wouldn't mind, get us maybe a, I know you've got some beautiful tomatoes and cucumbers, and peppers, if you could grab us one of those while we're talking here, and I'd like to look at the the uh, the growth on those and and the root structure. Uh, now, sweet banana pepper. Uh, these are sweet banana pepper that's grown here again from seed into the trays and transplanted. And I'm going to just scoot this one out right here. And one way that you always want to do if you're you buy a six pack or a four pack 
And when you're planting, so you do not pull out the plant away from the roots, is you take and squeeze. You squeeze it right lightly, and then take your finger, like this, push up, and this plant will come out without harm. Look at the roots. Can y'all guys see the root structure on that? That is excellent. Again, when you get ready to plant that, you want to take your fingers, kind of massage those roots out when you put them in the soil. But that's what I like to see. A nice, healthy stem. The growth is perfect on these. Uh, you couldn't ask for nothing better. We have uh, some, uh, what do we got, cucumbers here, Bill? Yes, sir. Those are the little white cucumbers that a lot of folks like to, to use to pickle with. One thing I like to see with cucumbers, you can actually see an extra, like they're putting on extra roots here. And I'll pull that out where you can see it. But uh, I'm going to put it back. Maybe y'all can catch that on the camera here. But if you look at the base of that, you can see the little white roots coming out. And that is excellent. Again, you just want to kind of squeeze on that. Take your middle finger, push up. Support it as it comes out. Can y'all see the roots? And, and those were actually direct sowed into the six pack with, uh, with just the seeds. We didn't transplant or anything. We direct sowed those in. And that was around, that's probably been three to three and a half weeks ago when we planted those. And that plant is more than ready to go out and this weekend with the weather that uh, they're calling on here or forecasting, uh, you'll see those in the ground. And I love the smell of cucumber plant. Have you ever noticed the smell? Mm -hmm. it smells just like the cucumber. It was a... Uh... But look at the color how, and the stem size. The stem size is magnificent. That plant can be planted up to right about this angle here and it'll be perfect. Tomatoes, and now I know you do some heirloom seed like the white cucumbers, mm -hmm. heirloom. What else do we have here, heirloom? What tomatoes we, do we uh, have here? These are Cherokee purples. Okay, and, uh, which is a great heirloom yeah, tomato and yeah, a great seller. It is. We uh, we have those. We have and Mr. Stripes, and uh, we That's also a good one. also have some uh, some German Johnsons. Uh, a lot of folks call those June pinks. Right, and uh, then we also have the better boys and the beef steaks and and Roma tomatoes as well. Uh, we also have some, some yellow tomatoes for the folks that, that cannot stand the, the high acid content of the red tomatoes. And that's one thing you'll find too with the German Johnson, or the June pink like I like to call it, is this is a pink tomato. Uh, sometimes they grow a real smooth tomato, sometimes they grow rough, but you'll always have that good even flavor with it. It's low in acid, and uh, you know, it's just a very enjoyable tomato. Now, I don't know, I don't, if we're going to hold that up to where maybe you can see but a good tomato is going to have a hair like, like little hairs growing all over the stem. And these are growing all the way up. And there's no way you can get a healthier plant than that. Again, look at the root system on it. It's perfect. So uh, I think the kids and uh, you, Bill, have done a great job on these. But I don't see how we can do anything any better on those. Let's look at one more. Let's look at the house plant before we quit. And uh, either one of uh, the colas or uh, whatever, begonias, either one. And these uh, these came in as plugs too, the same time that the uh, that the impatiens did. Uh, these are uh, uh, colases, different colors, different varieties of variegated. And again, I just pulled that one out because it just been watered. But again, look at the root structure. Look at the roots hanging off of it. Perfect. Those are nice and moist. You just watered this morning. We did. Yeah. And uh, that does make it a little harder to get the whole thing to stay out. That's one thing that is good when you do, when you're doing your transplanting, you know, don't water them right before you set them out. Water them after you set them out. And uh, because you can uh, pull it away from the moisture, the root system. But again, that one there, it's just been watered. But look at the roots. And for a plug, that is something else. So anyway, what we're going to do is we kind of give you a quick or overview of, of uh, a greenhouse setting of our peat light and uh, how it performs. We're also going to continue this, and we're going to have another video made shortly, and we're actually going to allow, uh, we're going to get to uh, video uh, your students actually potting up some from these points to this, and we get to watch that grow.
Correct, and and that's what they do on a on a regular basis in here. We spend a lot of time in our horticulture classes out here, transplanting and planting seeds and and marketing the plants. They're the students are responsible from start to finish for these plants, and they they thoroughly take a lot of pride in. It. Now I know you guys, and this helps the the neighborhood too. Y'all provide a service where people from around can come in and purchase these plants, right? Yes, sir. We uh. We recently had a big community day, Raider Day, here at the school on Saturday, uh, and there was probably over 300 folks here that came through, and a lot of people bought plants. We uh, we had a really big sale that day, and uh, and we're open anytime during during school days, and uh, we'll be at some other community functions as well, selling the plants. And all the money raised goes back to our FFA chapter, and uh, goes back to the kids to, to provide funding for different activities. Uh, and and now y'all take the money that you raise from these plants, the kids get the knowledge of of growing mm -hmm. okay they get from seed start from the seed to the sale yep. so to speak i don't like to put it that way but i i do understand uh from you and mr york mr clayton uh, miss fox and uh, uh mr. mr sprinkle uh bond's name left me for a moment <laughs> uh that y'all guys take this money that, that they do and pay for ffa trips like national convention uh, competitions that's mm -hmm. done out between the states and through the different regions and uh, just to mention FFA here for a minute uh, that uh, you know we are a big supporter of FFA mm -hmm. uh, it is the largest uh, youth organization in the world correct that's it exactly is the largest right. and if I'm not mistaken y'all have the largest chapter in North Carolina is that correct we, we do we do and that's, uh, that's something to be proud of you guys have worked hard for it and as you can tell by looking around here, and I'm sure that we're going to throw some pictures here up uh, also of just how much hard work has been in here, how dedicated you are and the students are to that. And, uh, you know, as being a representative of Daddy Feet, we thank you for allowing us to be part of it. Well, we thank you, man, very much. Thank you so much for inviting us here. Yes, sir. Y'all are welcome anytime. Thank you.